I put up my New Year's Eve video and a lot of people were commenting RIP Betty White and I've heard of Betty White but I, I don't really know much about her other than her maybe last decade or so where she did the proposal with Ryan Reynolds and a few sketches. It seems to me she has a long legacy in the hearts of the American people and today I wanted to check out one of her most famous things she did called The Golden Girls. I have heard of The Golden Girls, I'm sure it's been on Irish television at some point, but it's not something like my parents would reference or anything like that, it's nothing that's like very very in the Irish sphere. Psyche. The word is Psyche. I know it stars a bunch of ladies, I think they live in a house together in America uh, and they're in their golden years apparently. I'd be very interested to see what their golden years are because obviously this ran a long time ago and they lived a lot later so they can't have been that old when it ran. I don't actually think they were old at all when it ran but also people look a lot younger at different ages nowadays, have you noticed? Like compare a 60 year old woman back then to a 60 year old woman now, like they're night and day. What I know of Betty White is she played against type a lot, um, like she played an awful devil a lot of the time. There we go. Okay. It's too small, there's no way I'm gonna fit in there. Oh, you're right, never mind. I'll just frost you instead. And that's what made her so popular with people. I also believe she used to have a TV show that's been running a lot on Twitter this week about how she broke barriers racially and stuff like that. So obviously left a really good legacy and I'm interested to see the TV show that made her famous. Before I get into today's video, you might consider while watching, maybe subscribing or liking or leaving a comment. They're all free to do and they help me as a channel get algorithmically things in a good way. That sentence was constructed very poorly. Let's move on. Oh, the set. Oh my gosh. I taught a class today. Oh. Two girls had shaved heads and three boys had green hair. Very hands. typical these days. They're expressing themselves. Yeah, well, I expressed myself. I told them they had to leave. They were too ugly to look at. <laughs> a father came in in a three-piece suit and defended Tiffany, a bald girl with a nose ring. So standard. <laughs> no. Hi. Oh, Hi there she is. What a day. Rose, you work at grief counseling. What do you expect? Comedians? <laughs> Could it be a change of pace? Oh, she's you going out? No. no. Are they sisters? Are they? they don't look I don't old. Know, honey, I don't need it on my side. You know, I'd kill to be 20 again. Oh, I would kill to be 40 again. Oh my gosh, they're only supposed to be like in their 50s or something. It's that hairstyle, I'm telling you, it's that hairstyle. There was a woman on TikTok who checked out like how the different hairstyles aged you and that hairstyle ages you. I found this picture from the 1960s. All these women up here were 46 years old. I gave him all hair. I gave my lady in green a little makeup, but everyone else just the hair. I mean, they all look younger, don't they? We have much more access to like styling and things these days. He proposed. You've only known him a week. And he wants an answer tonight. Tonight? tonight. What are you going to tell him? I don't know. You know, he's very wonderful, but I have only known him. A week is not very right. long. But I don't want to lose him. This isn't a belch, Blanche. This is. Okay, so she's the sensible one. You mustn't rush into anything, Blanche. You hardly know him. I just Her voice is so cute, and it's a day that cute. Alive, he probably would not like it. That's her mom! Sorry, no one died. The home burnt down. <laughs> I mean, of course. Like, they're only 50. I hitched. It's that haircut again, though. For the cab. Look, look. I'm 60. Sit down, Sophia. You must be exhausted. She called her Sophia, so that's Why not their mom. The cap? I didn't push it. This stroke destroyed the part of her brain that censors what she says. So she just says, Oh, fun. She she He's an okay petunia. The cab driver said you promised him a $67 tip. A cent 67 cents about standard for America. You guys love to tip. The man is a scuzzball. <laughs> I like her. She's my favorite. We were all so lonely, and then by a miracle, we found each other. Rose, okay. we both sure. answered an ad to share Blanche's house that we found in the supermarket. It was not the resurrection. It is hardly a miracle. <laughs> to me, it was a miracle. Aww. Because we're happy. Aww. 
we get enough kids, the kids leave and our husbands die. It's position fairy. Kind of <laughs> well, not that she didn't love George. She can't be without a man. You know oh. what I'm saying? <laughs> Racy. You know, I can't eat anything with eyes like lobster. Oh, same. I can't eat anything same. that moves. Like what, Rose? Horses? <laughs> Tell us. Oysters move. Very slowly. You have to watch very closely. Uh, marry Harry, marry Harry. A little rhyme. Knock it off, are you? Yes, next week. <laughs> How can we stay here with Blanche and Harry? Well, she just You certainly can until you find a place. However long oh. that takes. My father told Stan that he had to marry me. I was pregnant. You had a blowgun wedding? <laughs> A blowgun. I think Bashy is supposed to be like a bit ditzy, which is my favorite role to play. Second now only it's really to the page. really wonderful. Page. A sixty-five-year-old man with gout learning to windsurf. T. Sophia. So he just lives there too. He just lives there with the, the ladies. The four ladies. There's more than three ladies. There's four in a man. Yeah, and wake me up. Every morning like clockwork at 7 a.m., I pee. Unfortunately, I don't wake up till late. <laughs> it's good. It's good, relatable. Not that I pee. I don't pee. I'm to clarify, but I like the humor. There's just something about it I don't like. And I have to tell Blanche. Tell Blanche why? That she can't marry him. Kind of a happy sad. Speaking of sad, shut Blanche. Up, Rose. <laughs> They're good friends. You can tell your good friends to shut up. Rose, pick that up. Oh, girls, girls, he makes me feel so She's good. She's so fashionable, yeah, the middle so lady, happy. isn't she? Rose, did you hear that? <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Do you want me to read it to you? You're a special lady. Maybe someday you'll write to me. Not just a fool, but an old fool. Oh my God, I just want to die. You're not a fool, Blanche. You're a beautiful, loving, trusting woman. Girls. There's no fool here, Blanche. <laughs> That's very good. She's sleeping. Because she's seeing if she's alive. Just checking. I know grief. Oh. It takes time. Please, Rose. Listen, if you're Irish, you have a wake. You eat, you cry, you drink, you vomit, and you're done. You drink more. If you're Jewish, you cry, you sit, you eat for seven days, you put on ten pounds, and it's over. You girls shouldn't sit out here in the sun. <laughs> Blanche, we've been so worried about you. I know. Oh, uh, sweetheart, how are you? I'm okay. I really am. Oh. No, at first I wanted to give up, to die, truly. It's so the theatrical. The whole George setup. Died. But then the I studio had the kids audience? with me, and I pulled through it. You're my family, and you make me happy to be alive. Let's oh. all drive to Coconut Grove for lunch. Okay. My treat. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what? That she came out of her room? <laughs> the fancy man and I are going to the dog track. <laughs> Your mother bets? No, she rides. She's a dog jockey. Let's go. Oh, I really like that. I could get totally into that. You know what the basis of a good TV show is? It's like really good characters and those are really good characters. All of the actors are so good as well. Now, naturally, I've heard that all of the actresses didn't get along. It's always funny how whenever there's a female-driven television show, you hear how the females didn't get along. They always make a thing out of that. You never hear about the men not getting along, but surely all the men don't like each other on old TV shows either. It's not a conspiracy, it's real. I can see how as her character developed, she could have become a fan favorite. When I was an actor, I used to play the character of a ditz a lot. I know, it's shocking. That's funny. I always played the bitch. But I will say that when you play the ditz, you get a lot of the really funny lines and you get to say a lot of things other characters wouldn't get away with. I can imagine that is a reason that Betty White became a fan favorite. I actually am gonna check out more Golden Girls episodes. So thank you for sharing Betty White with the rest of the world, America, in your RIP Betty White notes. I'm sure wherever she is, she's having a laugh. That's it for today. See you on the other side, bye. 
If you can hear uh, raving throughout this video, I'm very sorry. Richie Rich's dad only plays with him once a year, and this year he got him a dirt bike, and they're playing with it outside my house. So, there's a nice noisy gift to leave your ex with. Oh, well, the light went out. We'll carry on. You wearing your booties? He's wearing his booties because he keeps licking his paws with dermatitis. You wearing your booties? Cherish your dirt bike, Richie Rich. Daddy will be gone again soon. Ref, 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 ref. <laughs>